Today's exciting video is the 303 bus route eastbound. The 303 is one of the busiest routes in the system, so let's get started. Use stall number 10. After you have boarded your passengers, pull out when safe and check your mirrors for any stragglers. We will exit at Seagaze and make a right turn. This is the coast highway coming up. The 303 eastbound begins at the Oceanside Transit Center, then basically takes Mission and Santa Fe to the Vista Transit Center stopping off at the San Luis Rey Transit Center. As you approach the intersection, begin checking for pedestrians, bikes, fixed objects like telephone poles, rock and roll to clear your blind spots. Continue straight across the Coast Highway. Your first stop is just far side, North Freeman Street. If a customer attempts to board without the proper fare or with an invalid pass, the operator can request the appropriate fare once, but only once. After servicing this stop, merge left and then allow the customer to board. Operators will not engage in fare disputes. The operator will not attempt to confront, deny service to, or eject any passenger from a coach due to a fare dispute. And veer left onto this one way. At the end of this short block, turn right back onto Mission and head east. If a customer makes a habit of providing insufficient or no fare, the operator should contact the dispatcher Push the event button and continue in service unless otherwise instructed. Operators are to make a reasonable attempt to collect the proper fares and valid transfers. A polite request or reminder should always be the approach. If the customer has no fare, politely tell them. They may ride this time, but please have the appropriate fare the next time. This big stop just far side Horn Street is busy. Plan on stopping. Always give your customers the benefit of the doubt. This is Oceanside High School on the right. Now continue over the 5 freeway. Mission is a long stretch with numerous stops, so I'm going to jump ahead to the Mission grade. Watch your speed. This grade has its share of accidents. At the bottom of the grade, watch for your first time point on the right. The Mission Avenue Airport Road time point. Your next time point is El Camino Real and Mission. Lay over here if needed and be sure to never pull out of a time point early as many passengers arrive at the last minute. We will be turning left on Douglas but don't miss this one stop here. After servicing this stop, you can now merge left and get into the turn only lane. This is Douglas coming up. Drowsy driving is a form of impaired driving that negatively affects a person's ability to drive safely. Most people associate impaired driving with alcohol or drugs, but in our situation, sleepiness is the primary cause. Drowsy driving is not just falling asleep at the wheel. Driver alertness, attention, reaction time, judgment and decision making are all compromised, leading to the greater chance of crashing. According to the National Motor Vehicle Crash Causation Study, drowsy drivers involved in a crash are twice as likely to make performance errors as compared to drivers who are not fatigued. So if you feel tired, get up, stretch, and hydrate. 
we'll be making a right turn on North River. So let's jump ahead. This stop on the right is your Douglas Drive North River Road time point. Remember to treat every corner as a crosswalk. Pedestrians and bicyclists can be missed in the blink of an eye. And we need to remind our professional drivers about the importance of using the safety tools we teach. You can encounter pedestrians anytime and anywhere, even in places where they are not supposed to be found. Stop for pedestrians who are in the crosswalk, even if it is not marked. When you stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk, stop well back so that the drivers in the other lanes can also see the pedestrian in time to stop. Be especially attentive around schools and in neighborhoods where children are active. Let's continue on North River to College. This is College, continue straight. Pedestrians can be very hard to see, especially in bad weather or at night. You must keep a lookout and slow down if you can't see clearly. Coming up is a San Luis Rey Transit Center. Continue to North River slash Vandegrift and make a right turn. Vandegrift continues straight, but North River makes a right here to continue along the San Luis Rey River. Veer right now into the Transit Center. Remember to keep your speed down to 5 miles per hour in all transit centers. If you are idling and moving, you are going 5 miles per hour. If your foot is on the accelerator, you're going too fast. Stop at all crosswalks. The 303 eastbound uses stall number 5, the stall closest to the bathrooms. Continue to exit the transit center at Waterview. Watch for cross traffic. Waterview is a driveway to the apartments. Veer left. This light is North River. Go left. Now, merge into the left lanes and prepare to turn left on North River. Let the traffic clear out on your left, then merge left. When entering a crosswalk area, drive slowly and be prepared to stop. When you are turning, you often will have to wait for a gap in traffic. Beware that while you are watching for that gap, pedestrians may have moved into your intended path. Do not overtake and pass other vehicles that are stopped for pedestrians. Remember to rock and roll. Every corner is a crosswalk. We're making a left turn on College. Proceed across the San Luis Rey River Bridge. The first light goes into the park, but the second light is Adams Street. As you're crossing the intersection, carefully begin to merge right to service this stop. Via Cupano is the entrance into the shopping center, and there is one more stop just far side. As soon as you service this stop, begin to merge into the left lane. The right lane turns into a turn only lane. Our next intersection is a 76 in College, and we'll continue straight through. After crossing the 76, stay in the right lane. This lane turns into a turn-only lane into Walmart. Turn right and merge into the left lane. The right lane is a turn-only into the Walmart parking lot.
This is the bus stop time point at the end of this long stretch of sidewalk. After servicing this stop and checking your time, continue straight back down to the 76. Turn right. This is college. We just made a loop, so continue straight through college. We need to turn right on Santa Fe, which is coming up. So get into this turn only lane, and make the right turn on Santa Fe, and stay on Santa Fe all the way to Vista Transit Center. This is Mesa Drive. One thing to note, just after Darwin, there is one more stop. Then be sure to merge left. The right lane is a turn only lane onto Melrose. Merge left and continue straight to stay on Santa Fe. The next big intersection is Bobier. The North Santa Fe Bobier time point is just far side. This is the Vista Transit Center on the right here. Get into the right lane to prepare for a right turn on Vista Village. Be sure to activate your four-way flashers. There is a railroad crossing just around this corner. Make your safety stop on the 15-foot white caution line and deactivate your four-ways once you've crossed the tracks. But have your right turn signal on because you need to make an immediate right turn on Olive into the transit center. Look for stall number five. Providing the highest level of safety for all of our MV employees, passengers, and the communities we serve is our core operating value. Safety is at the forefront of delivering the best customer experience and is the first of our key components of successful performance. MV, thanks you for your service. Now be safe out there. It's a great day to drive.